Good morning, Capricorn women. Welcome back to Will's Cartomancy Terror. What I'd like to do is just go on and give you your uh, monthly Who's Coming Towards You reading. And happy birthday. And I hope you guys have been enjoying your birthday. Okay. I have other readings that I'm going to also be posting to you prior to the end of your period here. But I just wanted to go on and get started with putting this one up. I'm going to be using my Lenormas deck today and as well as a few other Oracle cards, okay? And the purpose of this reading, ladies, is to just kind of describe the man or men that I'm seeing coming towards you as well as to kind of let you know your position with this man and what you are likely to experience here, okay? I'm also going to be sharing with you the signs of this man, okay? And if it resonates, please go on and just like and share, give this a you know, a big thumbs up and, and be sure to send me over your comments, okay? So let's get started. I'm just going to just start off with um, kind of looking at your uh, a few of your oracle cards here before we get into your reading here. One thing for sure is that with this man, the cards are kind of asking you to kind of keep an open approach or keep an open mind approach about this individual because it certainly seems that a soulmate that you've been kind of feeling is your soulmate is kind of going to be coming towards you and this card is kind of assuring you that he is in fact your soulmate but your expectations might need to change you know regarding what you're kind of feeling of what a soulmate can offer you because this person might go against the grain or go against from your usual type of individual here but i'm kind of feeling here that you know despite the fact that he might be kind of or makes you feel as he's your soulmate here, the relationship might not be um, solid enough to kind of sustain or call it a true relationship because there may not be enough attraction or, in fact, chemistry really to kind of keep this relationship kind of moving forward. So it's, it seems like it's all it's more of an unrequited type love here that we're having here. Well, let's go on and get into your reading to see why this might be the case here. And I'm going to dive into these other cards, too, as we move along. Okay, I'm going to first, again, make a few general observations, and then we'll get into your cards. I'm kind of feeling that this male, it looks like he's very athletic, very physically fit, ladies. Okay? I feel that he's very drained, it seems, emotionally. And he's going through a bit of a lot of our problems here. Okay? I'm also feeling that this could even, in fact, represent a man of an alternative type lifestyle. Of course, for you men who might be watch alternative lifestyle, men who may be watching this video. Okay? And ladies, I'm also feeling that this person could be foreign or this might be a long distance type relationship. You know, I'm seeing a very long, very, very strong, dark features here. A person that's very eloquent, very social, you know communicates, you know, fairly easily, okay? But I'm also seeing a person that's shy and kind of a bit asocial. So that's why I said that it seems to be multiple men here in your reading. Someone that's very stubborn. Someone who's lonely, you know? I'm seeing a very financially secured person, a business type like person that might be in fact involved in sales or just an entrepreneur type man, okay? Someone that even in fact might be a bit sneaky and dishonest very conning, you know, but quite charming here. And, and ladies, it seems that the cards are kind of saying that you will in fact find him quite attractive, okay? I'm also feeling that a gift might be expected or forthcoming for you here, okay? I'm also seeing, you know, just a lot of new things that seems to be coming about here, okay? So let's go on and just get started and look at your card here that you know, fell to the bottom of the deck here, we have the horseman or the horse card. And Mercury is the ruler of this card and it connects with air signs, okay? Libra, Aries, as well as Gemini. And with this card, ladies, it's all about messages coming in or new people or situations or even kind of moving forward with your life to a new chapter, okay? So just looking at seeing this here kind of shows that you know, I'm kind of getting that many of you might have recently met a very, very, it looks like a very attractive man who is physically built, well built. You know, it looks like a banana republic type person, you know, 
a very outgoing, you know, lean type person, a person who might even works in a delivery type business or a freight type company or might even be a mail, mail carrier of some sort here, you know, that I'm kind of getting. That's the new energy that I'm kind of seeing that looks like it's kind of coming through for you guys here, okay? And then we're just going to look at a few more cards that we have here. We have, you know, just looking at your, your, your cards here because it man felt last year. So it seems like all of this card is in... All of the things that are going to be happening to you are in process or you're kind of experiencing a lot of it now. And I'm just seeing too, just looking at your reading, this is, is, is going against giving you a bit more information here. I'm seeing it looks like news of trouble or stressful information that is going to be coming on. And I'm seeing some type of a trip or sad trip or journey that's kind of showing here. You know, it looks like maybe some type of trip or vacation it's not going to go well i'm kind of seeing here i'm seeing potential problems because it looks like i'm seeing a lot of financial blocks and it could be overspending so either he's kind of encountered them you two are kind of going to be going through this together okay i'm also seeing a red hair type woman here that's also connected in this ring one who is very seductive you know she could be works in cosmetics or a hairstylist i'm kind of getting here you know, and I'm also seeing that it looks like a nature oriented type business here that, you know, might sell fish or might in fact sell fish or game here, you know. So let's go on and just look more so in these cards just to give you a bit more here, you know. I think that many of you kind of want a relationship to grow here, but it looks like that it, there are, it looks like there are problems I'm getting. Okay, then you have the cross. That's there here. So Pluto and Neptune are the rulers. You know, and this card is also, as I said, is all about suffering, all about worrying. It's all about the, the pain and suffering that Christ had to kind of shoulder, you know. So it looks like this man appears a bit stressed, just to further emphasize what I've already indicated from the observations. Very bitter, lonely. You know, a man I'm seeing feels very guilty and very needy. Perhaps even, in fact, it requires some type of counseling. You know, it seems that he's very shattered and might even work in a job that, you know, he hates, I'm kind of seeing here. Or even, in fact, a business that displays some type of a cross-type logo. Or he could work in some type of religious institution. I just feel that with this man, ladies, he's trying to maintain faith during a time of problems and a time of crises here, Okay. And then you have the ship that sits next to that. That card is all about, you know, movement. And it connects with Jupiter, you know, fire signs, ladies, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And it's all about opportunities and adventure. So it shows that this man has a very dark skin tone, I'm feeling. He may be of Asian or African or even, in fact, Mediterranean descent. But I'm feeling he has commitment issues. He appears very worldly travels a lot ladies and he could even, in fact be a marine or you know a sailor or even a travel agent you know a work in the travel industry or some type of international company perhaps you know a very robust type person that has very exotic type features okay and next you have the birds and with the birds ladies that connects with mercury and it connects with fire signs leo aries sagittarius as well as earth signs, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. So this card, ladies, is all about phone calls, all about any type of social or any type of telephonic communications in or conversation to include texting, ladies. So this guy is, you know, very communicated, you know, very articulate, curious, and perhaps might even work in sales for you, some of you or be an arbitrator or does some type of PR works, and even possibly with having this card, potentially, you know, hairy and has a lot of sharp features, okay? And then next to that, you have the mountain, okay? And Saturn connects with that card, and, it's, and it connects with Earth signs, Vir Virgo, Taurus, as well as Capricorns. And with this card, it's all about obstacles and delays. It shows some type of a blockage. It shows that this man may be, heavy, be a bit cold or 
harsh or has a very uncooperative type personality, a dour type person, someone that's reclusive, rugged. Even I'm picking up an older type person here for some of you, perhaps with some balding and even standoffish approach, you know, with salt pepper hair, you know, even potentially for some of you gray eyes or, you know, even blue. Okay. And then your next card here, we have the fish. Okay. So with the fish, ladies, Jupiter and Neptune are the rulers and it connects with water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And with this card, it brings about happiness and abundance. Okay. And it shows that this man is potentially a self-made type individual. Someone that's very financially savvy, very persuasive, a person who spends lavishly. You know, even he might even be self-employed or he's a self-contractor or some sort or does some type of freelance type work or an accountant. And But I'm feeling he could even potentially be an, a, a bit of an alcoholic as well as an investor. Okay? And your last card here, because we know the man represents him, is the fox. And after, you know, giving you some information about this card i'm just going to give you a, a synthesized story of what i'm kind of seeing you're going through neptune rules that card and this all connects back to fire sign leo aries sagittarius and it's all about manipulation lies you know betrayal and deception so this man in fact might even be a bit sneaky a spy you know very street smart i'm getting a shorter type male here for some of you you know like a trickster you know and he might even has, he may even have red hair. You know, someone that's very observant, very crafty, you know, attractive ladies again, but dangerous, okay? And he may even be even a criminal for some of you or be involved in some type of criminal type activity or type of shady work that's done under the table here in his, you know, type of work that he might um, be in fact doing here, okay? And I'm seeing that he might even in fact you know, have a, he might even be a barber or a stylist, you know, a very vain person, a very, like a herbalist or works in like interior decorating or some type of a designer of some sort here. Okay. And so what I'm going to do is going to just try to reiterate this story here that I'm kind of seeing for you that seems to be coming towards you is that, you know, again, is that it appears that many of you, like, as I suggest or I already mentioned from the onset, recently met a very attractive man in whom that you really wanted to kind of, you know, have a, a relationship with from getting here, you know, or you want the relationship to grow. However, the relationship, it seems to me, it, is, it has or it will bring about some challenges or some suffering that potentially will or may have already worn you out and possibly cause some type of a frustrating separation due to all the challenges that you endure, you know? I kind of see some of you kind of contemplating traveling or, you know, taking a quick weekend trip, you know, perhaps to maybe improve your romantic situation, perhaps. Because, But in any event, it seems the relationship is at a distance from you, I'm getting. And I also see you kind of receiving a call or a text from this man I'm getting and you're going to have a rather passionate conversation you know perhaps maybe this is a call that you've been kind of anticipating or waiting for for some period of time so the, the cars are kind of telling you to trust your gut regarding this man but I see some sort of an, an obstacle or a blockage of some sort however you know because it looks like the two of you kind of won't be able to really see eye to eye I'm seeing that they're will be much coldness surrounding your situation. Perhaps a past relationship might be impeding the, the success of your relationship or progress, you know? Or bluntly, you might even see your situations as getting nowhere, although you kind of feel this strong soulmate or deja vu type connection of I'm feeling. And this man possibly might want a more open, uninhibited relationship with you, or it could be vice versa, you know, because this is because there is, in fact, and don't fool yourself, duplicity in your situation, and you need to become, ladies, more aware of that, as this man has, it seems, an agenda, and possibly up to no good, or perhaps will try to use you, okay? But despite it all, ladies, I see you receiving a gift or 
being surprised by something in conjunction with this man because uh, it's gonna really gonna make you happy it might be even flowers or roses or some type of arts and craft but it might be even too because you know Valentine's Day is also kind of coming up here that I'm getting to okay so let's look at your other two cards here it shows here that with this familiar card ladies you are certainly not alone and that means that there is a spirit surrounding you and the spirit message that he that is coming out to me from looking at your cars is that it may be someone you've lost or recently lost but they want you to know that as a soul they can kind of be in several places at one time so all you have to do is really to think about them and they will appear you know and what they're telling you is, me is that it's very beautiful where they are you know and they're with family members that I'm kind of getting here and they're letting you want you to know that you and they will in fact be together again but don't hesitate to kind of call on them whenever you kind of need help and it seems that with this herbal kitchen here you guys have a very strong connection with cooking and you know just cooking alternatively and this card is kind of telling you maybe you have a connection with plants or have a, a connection with earth you know because this is an earth type energy there with that card okay and also what I'm getting here ladies is in your situation there's a time in life where you might just want to slow down a little bit and kind of pause and try to allow things to kind of unfold as God would have it unfold and understand that ladies love certainly endures you know and love does not give up ladies or lose faith it's usually hopeful and it withstands every situation even situations when you're going into problems but you may just need to kind of you know kind of lay your cards out on a table for everyone okay and also understand ladies that it might be best for many of you to try to do something new something different ladies you know you ever notice how easier it is to kind of fall in love ladies and kind of be falling in love when you're busy you know just slow down a bit you know and also understand too ladies that you know what you give out to this universe is certainly is going to come back to you you know and when in doubt ladies kind of give and let the individual to whom you're giving have it surrender ladies and make peace and when there's no doubt give and let them have it you know and surrender and really make peace okay and understand, ladies, that when it comes to matters of the heart, there is really no right or wrong answers, you know? And every choice that you make expands your understanding, ladies, of love and of life itself. And imagine, okay, all unwarranted thoughts, you know, kind of dissolving into light and creating these new or creating this room that I've already kind of indicated for you for new opportunities and possibilities of your life, you know? Understand that when it comes to relationship that criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness Love and accept each other as you are and your relationship ladies What these cards are kind of saying will allow you to transform and to understand ladies that your hard work will in fact pay off in the end You know, but just try to make it a concerted a, a conscious attempt to really try to bring love into your situation and because by doing so it helps you rectify your situation ladies and it also helps you to understand that the love that kind of emanates from you and your other you know it's like that kind of stems from the mind of god or perhaps how some of you view as the goddess you know understand that through each other you become one you know so give thanks for the endless blessing that is you and understand that you will in fact and you are entering a period of positive change and it's deep and profound changes or transformations that are occurring at the deepest level of your being you know and you're going to certainly emerge with a renewed passion for life and it's going to be ladies full of romance and creativity so capricorn ladies this is what i have for you i certainly hope that this reading has offered food for thought be sure to share your comments okay and give this a big thumbs up and if you like a personalized reading contact me at wat61073 at gmail.com enjoy your day